The coronavirus pandemic has really been tough for businesses and also for museums, who now many are just starting to reopen after the shutdown. But many of them looking ahead realize they might not be able to bounce back. In fact, a recent study found that one in three museums all across this country might ultimately have to end up closing their doors for good. Hey, our Mary Mills has been checking with these local museums to see how they're doing. Under normal conditions, the new Barbie exhibit here at the Children's Museum would have been a blockbuster. We did get a very nice bump in attendance. But nothing close to pre-COVID days. Before caps on capacity, masks and social distancing became the norm. A busy day would be anywhere from 4,000 to 7,000. And so we're, you know, we've had days where we've had just a couple hundred in the building. In fact, Patchen says the museum is predicting a seven to $10 million loss in revenue this year. We're blessed to have a, an endowment that actually provides about 45% of our operating, but still there's the other, uh, the other 55% that comes from uh, earned revenue. Newfield's attendance also down dramatically with no classes, tours, or school groups, but also no layoffs so far. The museum hoping for a boost from its popular winter light show. That's assuming the health department approves plans addressing capacity and social distancing. Counter Prairie lucky that the majority of its programming is outdoors, still with field trips on hold. They're doing more virtual events, but their annual corn maze, definitely in person. Well, it's caused us to change how we operate. Jody Blankenship heads the Indiana Historical Society. While the History Center is open, they've also moved much of their on-site programming online. We're planning a worst case scenario that this could last and through next summer. Despite all the unknowns, he and others we talked to say, tough as it may be, they fully expect to survive the pandemic.